this video we will uh, learn the basics of feedback amplifiers and uh, how the feedback factor uh, affects the different parameters of feedback amplifier so here i start i have taken one question from the previous gate exam and the question is in a voltage voltage feedback as shown below here a voltage voltage feedback is being shown which one of the following statements is true if the gain k is increased so if gain k is increased so which of the below options will be correct and the options are the option is concerned about the input impedance and the output impedance and different combination is given sometimes input impedance increases output impedance decreases increase and decrease so here we have to determine uh, how the feedback factor k affects the input impedance and output impedance whether it increases or decreases with the value of k so the first point was here this is a voltage voltage feedback amplifier so first of all we will come to know which type of feedback amplifier are there means uh, the different nomenclature of this feedback amplifier then we will uh, learn whether it is a positive feedback or it is a negative feedback how we can determine and then we will learn the parameters being affected by the feedback factor k and how it is being affected so here i start so first the nomenclature here um, one feedback amplifier is given this is voltage voltage feedback and how the name comes voltage is taken from the output and that is being applied as a voltage at input so it's one of its name will be voltage voltage feedback the another name that we can give voltage taken from output and connected in series at input so the name we can give voltage series feedback so this is another type of nomenclature one more nomenclature is there here at inputs there is a series connection and output there is a sudden parallel connection so this type of connection can also be called series sudden connection so this is also a nomenclature so these three nomenclature can be used to uh, name a feedback amplifier similarly we can name other three types of feedback amplifier this is one of them here we can see uh current is taken from the output current is taken from the output and as a voltage in series it is applied as a voltage it is applied at the input so it is current voltage feedback or current taken from the output in series added at input so current series feedback it can be called and about the connection there is a connection of series connection at input and again a series connection at output so series series connection another one here we can see current taken from output and current is being added these two currents are added to make the input current so current is being added to make the input current that's why current taken from output and current is applied at the input so current current feedback or current taken from the output and in sunt in parallel in parallel it is connected so we can call it current sunt feedback and about the connection sunt at input and series or output so sunt series connection the last one here we can see voltage taken from output and applied current means current is being added to make the input current so voltage taken from output and current applied at the input so voltage current feedback another name voltage taken from output and parallel connected so voltage sunt feedback and about the connection sunt connection here sunt connection here so this is a sunt sunt connection so these are the nomenclature of uh, the four types of feedback amplifier now we will learn which type of feedback how we can determine whether it is a positive feedback or it is a negative feedback we come again to that first type of feedback amplifier voltage feedback amplifier voltage voltage feedback voltage taken from output and voltage is applied okay so here if we uh, write simple cable equation at the input end so vs equals to vi minus beta v not easy cable equation 
Vs equals to Vi minus beta V0. So by taking here Vi equals to Vs plus beta V0. So the net input net input voltage is Vs plus beta V0 means source voltage. This is source voltage and this is uh, output multiplied with the means you can say this is a feedback feedback taken from output feedback from output okay so what we can see if the value of beta is positive so this value becomes larger one when the output is means output is added with the source so in this case we can say this that it is a positive feedback and when beta is negative when the beta is negative the input becomes less than the source the existing source value means there is a negative feedback so in positive feedback we can see as the output increases input also increases and so on and so on so here some stability issue is there a stability issue arises means the system cannot be stable in positive feedback but when it comes to negative feedback then it is stable because uh, from the source the if there is an output feedback applied then from the source the value decreases and the decreased value is applied at the input so in this way there is no instability issue with negative feedback but there is a stability issue with positive feedback so positive feedback is rarely used and uh, we use negative feedback amplifier as a feedback amplifier okay so now we uh, we will learn how the input impedance or other parameters is being affected in a feedback amplifier here it is clear that we will use only negative feedback and we are concerned about the negative feedback amplifier amplifier only and now the concern is how the feedback amplifier uh, feedback factor affects the input and output parameters or other parameters of the uh, feedback amplifier so there is a uh, desensitivity value and that desensitivity value for a negative feedback is 1 plus a beta and this factor is uh, only multiplied or divided with the parameters in feedback amplifier so if any parameter is increasing then it means that parameter has been multiplied by 1 plus a beta and if any parameter is decreasing then that parameter is divided by 1 plus a beta now what does it mean actually it means earlier let us take an example earlier if if there will be rif means ri will be the input earlier input impedance means where there when there was no any feedback if there was ri is the input impedance so if ri is increasing means uh, due to some feedback connection if it is increasing then in that case we are multiplying and if some factor is decreasing then just we are dividing so this is the factor by which the parameters are being affected now in the given from the given question we have this uh, feedback connection and here we can easily see that uh, v in equals to v1 plus kv out easy kvl equation and v1 equals to v in minus kv out so for uh, positive value of k there will be a negative feedback so it is a negative feedback connection and this is of course voltage voltage connection so our concern is here we are concentrated here here we can see easy easily that this is a series connection so in series we if we uh, add some resistance means uh, if we form some resistance in series connect some resistance in series then the equivalent resistance always increases because this is the summation so equivalent resistance always increases so similarly here the at input there is resistance in series so it will increase so overall we can see that ri increases and ri increases by what factor of course 1 plus a beta factor so from here we can easily detect that at input the input impedance is increasing and by what factor it is increasing 1 plus a beta again at output 
we will see that there is a parallel connection so we very well know that if there is two resistances connected in parallel then overall equivalent resistance will be decreasing decreased value means less than this one and this one both so the overall input impedance will in decrease here and by what factor of course it will decrease so it will decrease by this factor only ROF equals to RO divided by 1 plus A beta so it is a decreasing value and this is the factor by which, will, which it will decrease so it is clear that at input due to series connection the input impedance will increase due to this factor and at output due to parallel connection or shunt connection the output impedance will decrease due to this factor due to the feedback so overall input increasing output decreasing these are the impedance combination that we will find out in the options and uh, here the options are input impedance increases and output impedance decreases so the first option is correct I hope in this video I have explained uh, in a very well manner the feedback amplifier and its different uh, combinations and its nomenclature. Uh, you can solve other questions to get more concept related to this type of problems. So in coming days I will come with some other videos. Thank you so much for watching.